major week here in Iowa. No straw poll this year, but the fair has drawn almost everybody to this state, not just to the fair, as we said, but all over. Tell me one thing you're looking for during this weekend here in Iowa. Well, first of all, I think the fact that there's no straw poll just makes the fair even bigger. Yeah. The fair is big, but it's bigger this year. I, I'm looking uh, on the Republican side. I'm really going to be looking forward to seeing Scott Walker at the fair on Monday. I think, you know, he's now, according to CNN ORC, he's slipped back to third place in Iowa after having been in first place all year long. He's taken a beating at the hands of both Donald Trump and Ben Carson. This state is as close to a must win for him as anyone has a must win. So him coming in here now trying to pick up ground, reconnect with Iowa. I want to see how well he does. I think Walker does have a big challenge because he was too low key in the debate and breaking yep. through at the fair is hard to do. Breaking through in this state when there's so many people here. The thing I'm looking for relates to that yeah. is Trump. Well, Mr. Well, Trump is going to the fair tomorrow. Do you think he'll break through? He'll break through. <laughs> He's bringing his helicopter yes, says Trump yes. in order to break through. Yeah. Still some question about whether people are going to get free rides. But Trump dominates what, no matter what. Two of the campaigns here, Republicans already said to me today, of course Trump's going to dominate the weekend. The, my question is, does anyone try to try to get into the storyline yeah. or do they just basically say if trump brings his helicopter to the fair surrender he's flying a helicopter into des moines he's going to get off the helicopter and go stand with the butter cow okay you are going to see the picture and footage of trump and that butter cow for 48 hours straight wall to wall on cable there is no trump breaking and cow, trump tr and copter trump, tr <laughs> there's no breaking through yeah. that there's no yeah. way yeah. um here's the other thing i'm going to be looking at on the democratic side hillary clinton going to be here and we're going to go up and see her at this wing ding dinner uh, tomorrow night up in Clear Lake. She all the be, Democratic candidates She'll be there speaking. with all the Democratic candidates. You know, it's weird, right? Iowa, the state that humbled her in 2008, is now the state she's counting on to stop Bernie Sanders. She's still got a lead here over Sanders. She's losing to him right now in New Hampshire, or at least she's slipping in New Hampshire. Suddenly, this is like her firewall. Who would have ever thought Iowa would be Hillary Clinton's early I'm state look, firewall? Look, on the Democratic side, I'm looking at something also at that dinner, which is Bernie Sanders. Yeah. The last cattle call in this state, right near here in Cedar Rapids, I thought Sanders had a pretty weak performance. I don't know if he was nervous. He told us before the dinner that he would be a little nervous. He was not at his best. I think if he comes in here and has head to head with her and the other Democrats speaking at this dinner with Democratic activists, if he has a better night, right. I think he could start to do better in this state if he sends the message that the electricity and fire he's brought to other parts of the country, he can bring here. Well, or on the other side of the coin, he's got an event uh, in Boone, uh, not that far from Des Moines, before he goes to the fair on Saturday, after these huge events on the West Coast, if he comes to Iowa and only a few hundred people show up, that could be a big blow to Bernie yep. Sanders after having 25,000 yep. people suddenly to have it all there ben, go out of the Ben border. Carson drew a couple thousand people to a Des Moines rally, right. so it is right. possible to draw big crowds here, pressure on Sanders. To make some kind of a test. All right.